didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. I need 
need to find the key, a five-figure number. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be, until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. The Green Eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Haryuvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. He had money. You see, he bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them, whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. I didn't like that she kept the stone. 
Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house, not long after we met at food rescue. He was stabbed, almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while, stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Hated that thing. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it, and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring, is what she said. <laughs> Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter, because who wants to be boring? Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben. I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. <laughs>